Thanks a lot, John. Now, visitors come from all over the country to see the artwork at the Ringling Museum, but there is a landscape, a landscape there with natural artwork that is quite spectacular. Christopher Troxas shows us the banyans. Everybody knows about the spectacular galleries inside the Ringling Museum of Art, but did you know that the grounds themselves are actually living galleries with many spectacular sights? Among them are the soaring banyan trees. And today we're going to talk with head groundskeeper Kevin Green about these trees. Kevin, could you please tell us a little bit about the banyans and why they're significant to the Ringling? Well, we actually have 14 very large banyan trees on our property, some of which were actually here when John and Mabel were here. That puts their age around 90 to 100 years old. The trees themselves can grow to be almost an acre in size, uh, but I always like to say that we have 14 very large banyans and hundreds of very small banyans uh, getting their start in other trees. What do you have to do to keep these here uh, in, the, in the present state? Well, we prune them regularly. We'll prune them on an annual basis to make sure that there's no dead wood because as fast as they grow, they also can retreat a little bit as well. Uh, they also produce the uh, fruit um, is a fig and it's not an edible fig for, for human consumption, but the quantity it produces is, is quite a great number, and we're constantly cleaning up underneath them. This is an excellent example of the aggressive nature of the banyan tree. Uh, this particular pootie has been enveloped with the aerial roots of the tree, and this process has only taken about seven years to happen. And in those seven years, it seems to be like it's a favorite stop for a lot of the visitors here to the grounds. It is. Uh, I see several visitors over here taking pictures. It's one of the um, valued treasures of the estate. Well, thank you, Kevin, for joining us today. And I hope you learned something about these amazing banyan trees. And if you live in the area, you have to come out and spend a day looking at the banyan trees, which are truly the centerpiece of the amazing grounds and gardens here at the Ringling.